Okay, we are now going to generate our volcano plots. So before we generate the volcano plots, we will need to change this REST LFC to a data frame. So I'll do that here. So I'll just add this comment. So I'll say change REST LFC to a data frame. So I'll use this command to change it. So let's execute this command. Okay, so we have changed that object to a data frame. Now we are going to add labels. So we will label the gens. Okay, so we want the up regulated, down regulated, and those that are not differentially expressed. So we are going to add the label. So to add the labels, we will have to specify some commands. So we will start with this one. So this is the first label, which is new. So all of the genes will be labeled as new. That means they are not differentially expressed. Okay, that's the first step. And then the next step, we will now add the app regulated. Okay, we will label them. So here, what we did was to add another column, which is diff express. That's the column name. And then we populated it with default values, which is new. So now we have to add the app regulated. Okay, so that should be done using this command. So here, what we are doing is that all entries, all genes with log two four change greater than zero point one, and adjusted p value less than zero point zero five will be labeled as app regulated. Remember, we did something like that where we filtered using some criteria. Let's just check. That's here, yeah, this one here. So we are using the same criteria here. So let's go back to our command. So that's what we have done here. So all gens with log two full changes greater than 0 0.1 and pre-adjusted values less than 0 0.05 will be labeled as app. That is app regulated. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now let's look at the down regulated gens. And so for that one, it's a similar command like this. By this time, we are saying less than 0 0.1 for log 2 fold change. And this value, the PISF value, remains the same. So let's run this command as well. Perfect, that has been done. Now we will also add this column. Okay, so this column is there. So that we can get our DJ plus to work. So I'll add this column. That is also done. Now I'm going to specify my GJ plus command to generate the volcano plots. So I'll do that now. Let me just paste that command here. So this is the command we'll use to generate the volcano plots. So I'll execute this command now. Perfect, we have generated the volcano plots. Now, notice that I use the REST LFC, that is the data with the noise removed. That is what I use. But you can also choose to use the raw data, the one with the noise included, that is up to you, but I, chose to use the one with the noise removed. Okay, so uh, you will have to check and see which one works best for you. Now with the Volcano Plot, I have covered it in detail in another video. Okay, so I will encourage you to check that video where I showed how to generate Volcano Plots and also add some additional annotations. Okay, so, so just check that video. Okay, you can click this link right here or check the description box and then learn more about that. So that's about it. So this is how we generate a volcano plot using the seek and ginger plots.